Well, here's the last look of the snapper that I got from my neighbor. He asked if I could get it back running, which I did. But it is in sad, sad shape. And I washed it, which didn't do a whole lot of good. The air filter was horrible in it. Which I replaced it. It was just nothing but grease. So I put a used air filter in here. And got it back running. The biggest problem with this snapper is this back end here. This bolt here connects to the spring, which is broke. Pieces to the spring that's broke off, as you can see. This whole back end just lifts up and down. And this bolt here that holds the adjuster is stripped out, so this wheel is really loose. Not a very pretty sight. Sure not like the snappers that I'm used to. You can see the handlebars drop way down because you can't put it back up like it ought to be. I did sharpen the blade on this. Taking the blade off the snapper here, gonna sharpen it. The bolt came out. I don't think this blade's ever been off. Let's see if I can bend this back as well. And this blade is not too bad. I'll do a sharpen and balance on it. And the blade looks good now. Got a little edge on it here. Also had to take a little metal off the back here to make it be in balance, but as good as gonna get now. Blade actually was in good shape. Doesn't run all that great. Looks like it smokes. I think it's uh, been run low on oil. It's sucked so much oil in there. It's probably burned the cylinder walls up. So let's see if we can get this a last start and I'm gonna roll it back down to him and give him the good and bad news. Let's see if it'll start up. And this is a auto choke engine, no primer bulb. And it is the 6.75 Briggs and Stratton engine, a great engine. Not all that impressed with these kind of snappers. Let's see if this thing will even start. It's real hard to start it with a handlebar way down like it is. Let's see what happens here. Well, there it goes. Hard to start that way. Goodbye to the snapper.